Whoa, this is a big rabbit rabbit. Oh my goodness. January 1st, 2021. <sighs> I bet a lot of us are waiting for this day. Not that anything magical will happen, but <clears throat> just nice to be starting a new year. It is January 1st, and it's a new beginning for all of us. Although, like I said in my previous video, I always think of Labor Day as my New Year's Eve or Labor Day Eve. But anyway, here we are. A rabbit, rabbit. Did you say it when you woke up? I hope so. God, I hope so. We need some good luck here. So anyway, my name is Sarah, and this is Pearls of Wisdom and Food, where I practice my style. Oh, Freddy, Freddy alert of ketogenic um, eating. And uh, it's a great lifestyle for me. It's changed my life. I veered off the road and <laughs> did carnivore for about nine months and um, didn't feel so hot. But keto is definitely what works for me. I love my vision. I love my, I'm looking at a vision works appointment that I have. I love my, um, my veggies and I miss them. And so they're back in my life. I like my big A salad or my ridiculously big salad, depending upon Mark Sisson or Amanda Rose, PhD. And I have them frequently throughout the week and they just work for me. Another favorite that has a lot of slaw in it is um, my crack slaw. And um, I, my gut seems to be allergic to lettuce. So I'm lettuce, yeah didn't quite work when I tried to re-enter re it into my, I'm thinking baby butter lettuce, what's the harm? Well, my gut told me, on, in no uncertain terms, you are not have baby butter lettuce again, much less romaine. So I love my broccoli coleslaw. It's organic from Whole Foods and it makes for a great salad. And so I have that and I have a lot and I put big chunks of other veggies in it like cucumbers and lettuce and and red cabbage and my peppers. I love my mini organic peppers. They're just so cute and sweet. So that's my life. And you thought I didn't have one. Ah! So I've, I've been listening to a lot of videos, um, waiting for the calls to come in for Instacart or Uber Eats. And, um, and so I get to listen to a lot of people and what they're doing. And most of them are not doing the keto diet. Most of them did have some roots in the keto lifestyle. And, and so, but they veered off into different things. One of the big ones is the reverse dieting. And um, although I'm happy for those that do it and their success, it just seems too mathematic, mathematic, and you need a calendar and dates and weigh-ins and, you know, I'd rather spend my time cutting up veggies and weighing and measuring them into the big glass bowl for my big A salad. Thank you, but that just works for me. But c congrats to those people. I'm 70, almost 70 and a half. And, um, and so I practice this, I, I love my big salads. I love my hunk of meat. I love my big green egg sundae. I love my cauliflower red pepper crust pizza day on Saturdays. I'm a creature of habit, as most of you know, so I don't get sick of same old, same old. How can you get sick of same old, same old when you can have wonderful, fresh, or organic produce? And it's cheaper at Whole Foods than it is at the regular retail grocery stores. That's that's the haha. -ha. You know, it's like, well, it's not whole paycheck. It's actually pretty darn, you know, um, practical and economical. And so I do that. I shop a lot. We spend a lot of money on food and um, it's one of our greatest pleasures at the end of the day. And I have my omatter around too. And I have my kappa. Here's my kappa. Mm -hmm. And that is organic Wicked Joe's um, French. And I'm having it this morning. And I've done my hair and I've done my, um, washed my face and I'm getting ready for my bath. Oh, the fun never has, it never ends here. I'm having an affair with Dr. Teals. I see him most mornings, unless it's wash your hair shower day. 
And so then I go out and I do my Instacart and my, um, my Uber Eats at times. I don't seem to get many calls for that, but I do my Instacart and I love it. And I do um, anywhere from four to seven trips a day. I stop at noon, I come home, I prepare for our meal between two and three. And I eat until I'm done. It takes like 45 minutes to an hour to eat the salad, which is perfect because by the time I've I finished eating, it's caught up with my belly. And I think of myself as a simpleton with my food plan. It's it's good, it's the best I can buy. Organic, um, grass-fed, most of the time. Otherwise, it's Black Angus from the Brazilian butchery. And I just enjoy my food. I don't get sick of the same same. So that's very, very helpful. And I talk to all of you here with your comments and I appreciate each and every one of you. Some of you have been with me since the Weight Watcher days, and like God knows, I got thousands of videos out there. And so, um, yeah, that's what I do. And it's nice and simple. It's not scientific and mathematical. I mean, I suppose it's scientific. Um, the way that Jen Stevens um, talks about, you know, the the intermittent clean fasting makes it scientific. She's got. Uh, lots of initials after her name. And so, you know, I just trust and believe how I feel, what the scale says. I still rely on the scale once a month at the beginning of the month on the, when I wake up some morning and it's, I feel skinny, I'll hop on, <laughs> I'll hop on the scale. And um, I continue to lose a, a wee bit each month. I do consider myself in maintenance. And so that means that, um, although I still track and weigh and measure all my food, that I do allow treats now. And so it's a nice place to be in maintenance. I wouldn't recommend it until you get to maintenance as it can get slippery. And so, yeah, I just, I just do my food plan. I do my shopping. I do my Instacarting, which is different than my shopping. I end up at Market basket or Whole Foods for our foods, and then I end up at the retail grocery stores like Shaw's and Stop and Shop for um, the customers. So it's interesting. I've I've gotten to know new products from uh, watching some videos that talk about new products. Hungry Girl has them. Abby Sharp has them, and so the products are fun to um, see if they're. If they're keto, if they work in, a lot of them are snack foods, so I wouldn't have them anyway. Um, I like my regular foods. I like my eggs organic and jumbo. And so it, I'm in a happy place right now. And a day that I can wake up and I don't have COVID and I slept well uh, puts me in a happy place. And there you go. I, um, I just keep doing what I'm doing. And it, I just, you know, simple is best, you know. Kiss, keep it simple, Sarah. Um, and and that just that just works. I do three videos a week. Usually I post my new recipes. I'm going to be having that Alfredo sauce with peas and pork grilled outside on the big green egg and then finished in the air fryer. I'm gonna be having that next week, so I look forward to that. The spaghetti squash this time and with the organic peas in some of the Alfredo sauce with the pork. It's just fun, you know, it's simple. I love the squash family. I also like a sweet potato every now and then, and I've been known to eat a Yukon every now and then, and those are, those are treats, and I don't treat <laughs> them lightly. Um, I use mostly grass-fed butter. Sometimes it's carry gold. Sometimes there's a new one that I have that was um, introductory price for two fifty, grass fed for half a pound at Market Basket. So I stocked up on four black foil, foil wrapped um, hunks of butter from them. Ugra is another one I like. Um, sometimes Vermont Creamery, and my coffee is most likely Wicked Joe's organic from Maine. I get it at Star Market, but you can get it from Amazon as well. And so I just. That's what I do. I just mosey along with my nice little life. I practice clean intermittent fasting, which means no flavored coffees and no flavored soda waters. 
I take my um, supplements with my meal now because everything can spike the blood sugar um, and the insulin. I don't, I don't care to do those things. Clean intermittent fasting is what works for me. So that's, that's what I do. And then I listen to lots of people that do lots of different things. And, you know, keto isn't the be all end all. It definitely was a way for me to get my together and helped. And, you know, I, I still have a legacy with keto. So I practice it. Although, you know, there's, there's other foods that enter in every now and then. Um, but getting to maintenance, the clean intermittent fasting was what took care of those carnivorous pound um, excesses. Is that a way of looking at it? The weight that I gained while I was eating carnivore. How's that? And um, I'm glad to, to say bye-bye to those and weigh what I weigh and have my pants fit and have the energy and have the, the good solid sleep that I have every night. What's not to love about the lifestyle? And so I hope you have a great life, lifestyle too that you get a lot of pleasure from and a lot of relief from. It's just nice to be where we're at, doing what we're doing and chilling a little bit. We, I spent so many years with this diet and that diet and this plan and that plan set up for failure and um, the satiety, fullness, contentment. What were those, right? So it's nice to be in a, in a nice, comfortable spot with food and the head, the head and the gut and the food choices. Love it. I'm so glad you're here. And um, I hope it's all working for you. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you the next time. Happy 2021. I'll see you the next time. Bye-bye for now.